Pessoal, eu tô aqui com o Mike Coulter, que é o Luke Cage da Netflix. Eu estava colocando em um tanque, como um peixe exótico. Ele veio com habilidades. Então, o que é Luke Cage about? Bem, primeiro e primeiro, a história de Luke Cage takes place right after Jessica Jones. You are a hard drinking, short fused mess of a woman. It's about a oh, few months after the Jessica Jones series, you'll find Luke Cage, he's living uptown. Uh -huh. He's a guy who's trying to put his life in order. He spent some time in prison and now he's trying to find himself and he's found himself in a situation where he really just wants to be left alone and doesn't really want to deal with some of the stuff that's going on around him but he's going to find himself swept into this whole nother world so he's going to be challenged with the the, the decision whether he wants to to sit back and watch it unfold or whether he wants oh, to so become a part of it and a guy with his abilities uh -huh. he's kind of burdened with this 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 responsibility and and so eventually he has to he has to deal with that <laughs> Have you been in Jessica Jones' set, right? Yes. What is the relationship between the two characters? Well, you know, in the comic books they have us, we, we have a romance. I'll just say, in the series, we, I, I play a very integral part of um, her storyline. I'm a very important supporting character, and, um, and I'll leave it at that. Some loves in the air, maybe? Maybe. 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 Okay, let's not talk too much. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give it away. How was the girl power, considering not only Kristen, mm -hmm. but Carrie and Moss and Rachel Taylor mm -hmm. in the set? How yeah. was that? And let's not forget the showrunner, Melissa Rosenberg. So, I mean, it, honestly, it's great. I, I, I love a low testosterone set. I like a lot of girls around. It's fine. <laughs> it was cool because all of those women are very unique. All their characters are very unique. The storylines for each character are very unique. So, I never even thought about it in that way. But, yeah, I mean, you bring a good point. It was, it was a... Um, It was a lot of women on set. Right. The girls, honestly, I've seen the episodes um, and they really kick butt. All I have is my professional reputation. I'm happy to be a part of it. Yeah. Nice, really nice. What is your favorite superhero as a child? It's a toss up between Spider Man and Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk is maybe closer to Luke Cage. Incredible Hulk, I think, I think he's like the strongest of all. I mean, yeah. he just keeps getting, we get him more upset, he gets stronger. I think that's how he gets bigger and stronger. <laughs> You know, you don't want to mess with Incredible Hulk. Uh, and your favorite villain? Ooh, favorite villain. Well, mm. well I like Magneto. I think Magneto? Magneto yeah. Oh, it's a good one. Your favorite Luke Cage line? Ooh. One you can remember? Well, I think everyone's going to have to agree. Sweet Christmas is probably his uh, signature phrase. And to finish, if you could send a message to a Luke Cage fans of Brazil, what mm. do you say? You're going to be up for a huge surprise. Luke Cage has got a lot of soul, a lot of power, a lot of grace. And he's a story of a man from the streets of Harlem who is basically going to take back his neighborhood and take back the community from the villains. So make sure you tune in. It's going to be a lot of everything you're looking for, action, romance, all of it. Nice. Check it out. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. And you can see Luke Cage on Netflix.